Will I Have a Friend? This is a story by Miriam Cohen with pictures by Lillian Hobum. Will I Have a Friend? When Pa was taking Jim to school for the first time, Jim said, Will I have a friend at school? I think you will, said Pa, and Pa smiled down at him. In the big schoolroom, Pa said, Goodbye. Jim didn't say anything. He didn't want to say goodbye. Come, Jim, the teacher said. All the boys were making noise and all the girls were laughing. Where was his friend? The teacher said, here is Bill. He is a rocket man. Bill said, Arr! and he rocketed off. Anna Maria walked by. She was pulling a wagon filled with blocks. Jim looked at them and Anna Maria skipped away. Jim went over to a big table. There were lumps and humps of gray clay on it. The children were pulling and pinching, poking and patting the clay. They were making snakes, hills, holes, and a banana. Jim reached out and touched the clay. It was cool and wet. When he picked it up, it was heavy. Jim made a man, but he did not have any friend to show him to. Now it was orange juice and cookie time. George said, I want to pass the cookies. Look, shouted Bill, I bit the moon. So did I, said Anna Maria. Jim thought of something to say. He said it to Joseph, but Joseph's mouth was full of cookies. He didn't answer. The pitcher was empty and juice time was over. Sarah was telling Margaret a secret. Jim looked at them. Where was his friend? Danny was shouting, let's do funny tummies. Danny poked out his tummy and he bumped Willie's. And Willie bumped Sammy's. When they bumped, they laughed and yelled, hello, Mr. Funny Tummy. And Jim laughed too. The teacher called, come to story time. All of the children came running. Jim sat next to Paul. The teacher read them a book about a monkey. Danny jumped up. I'm a monkey, he said, and he put his tongue in his lip and he stuck his fingers in his ears. Jim thought he looked just like a monkey. The teacher said, it's time for the monkeys to rest. They lay down on their mats. It was hard for them to lie still. Jim looked at the ceiling. He scratched his foot. Then he rolled over. Then he rolled back. Someone was looking at him. It was Paul. He had something in his hand. When rest time was over, everybody got up. Look what I have, said Paul. He showed Jim a tiny truck. Jim reached out and Paul put it in his hand. The doors really work, said Paul. I have a gas pump, said Jim, and I'll bring it tomorrow. Anna Maria called. Jim and Paul, don't you want to play? Okay, Jim, asked Paul. Okay, said Jim. After school skipping home, Jim said to Pa, Do you know what? I have a friend at school. I thought you would, said Pa, and Pa smiled down at him.